All right, so we're asking for your help to pack the pantries this morning and tonight to help feed families in need this holiday season. And Sherman is live on Indy's north side. He's got a closer look at the need and how your donation can help. Hey, hey, good morning. Uh, we are live inside a Crooked Creek Food Pantry, which is at 69th and Michigan Road inside the Eskenazi Health uh, Building. We've got an example this morning. We're going to walk you through what your donation will do to help a food pantry feed those in need. Uh, Stephen Claffey is the uh, president and executive director, of Crooked Creek Food Pantry. How ah, are you? Hi, Sherman. What are you doing? Right you there. looking over there. Look at me. Hey. Say hi. No, go ahead. Say <laughs> hi to everyone. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. This is cool. This this uh, food pantry started in 2015. That's right. Uh, tell me the neighborhoods that you service mostly. Pike Township. All right, Crooked Creek Food Pantry. We're in our sixth year. We serve Pike Township and the westerly portion of Washington Township. We also serve patients of the Eskenazi Health Picard Clinic, the, and we're in its building right now. Yeah, and currently with that, because of COVID-19, some of those are delivery to some people who may be living with COVID. So this is a huge, huge undertaking here that you guys do. Today, 10 o'clock is when people will start lining up. This is a small space, but you got a lot of stuff and a lot of people to help feed. That's right. We're crowded right now with food. Uh, well, there's less today than there was two days ago. Uh, it's now become common for us to have uh, very large turnouts each of our shopping days, which are Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We were talking earlier about the need and how January, February, and then all of a sudden March, it just shot up. That's right. right. That's right. Well, uh, food insecurity or hunger does not know a season, but clearly it knows pandemic. The economic fallout of the pandemic has hit this neighborhood very hard, as it has the whole nation. Uh, we know that food insecurity has increased nationwide by 19 million families, which is an incredible number of people. We're mm -hmm. seeing it here. We're serving about 40% more families this year during the pandemic than we served last year. And uh, if we had greater capacity, that number would go up more. Okay, so with that said, this, these represent a $15 donation here at Crooked Creek. This right? entire cart, actually. This, so let's put this out right. as a visual so we can see what we're talking about here. Food pantries have the ability to acquire food at much lower cost or free. Okay. This bag is full of canned items. Uh, Oh my this goodness. is all fresh, fresh produce, and this happens to be potatoes, oranges, and apples. A family of what? How many? This said? is a family of four, and this is probably enough food, if they're reasonable eaters, for about 10 days. For 10 days. Now, That's right. We see this sitting out here, and if you go to the grocery store, and I, I'm not going to obviously know the direct, I mean the exact amount, but guessing, you know, when you see a full cart, a cart full of groceries, um, the family having a cart full of groceries. You think about what, two hundred dollars or so, somewhere around that. Yeah, mark? this might be one hundred and fifty thereabouts. I, I don't know what value to put. I mean, we get these bulk cheese donations. Gosh, this could be ten, fifteen dollars in the store. But uh, but look at this. Here we are. Yeah, that's all produce. All produce. This right. is an example. Of what you when you make a donation to pack the pantries. This is an example of how you might help. In this case, uh, Crooked Creek Food Pantry at 69th and Michigan Road. We've got a lot more to show you and talk about about inside this food pantry and what goes on. Stephen and his team, man, they work. They are working, let me tell you, to help feed uh, families in need. Packing the pantries this morning, guys. Can you look? $15. $15. Wow. This is what they would spend for all this, right? And so, that's why. Find us at ccfp.org. You can make a donation on our website. All CCP. right, there we go, guys. And that's why they say, you know, those financial donations go the furthest. Sherman, thank you. Hey, if you'd like to help us pack the pantries, donate to Midwest Food Bank by texting at MFB Indy. That number is 52014. You follow the instructions. You choose your donation amount. To support Gleaners, text the word GIVE to 317-593-2400. We've got all the ways to donate. Just head to fox59.com.